Hi everyone, welcome to another PSDVault.com tutorial. In this video I'll show you how to perform some basic photo retouching techniques. So to begin I've downloaded this photo of the model that you can see there and we're going to be touching up the eyes, the lips, some blemishes on the face and chest there and the hair as well. So to begin we'll just duplicate that and then we're going to select the spot healing brush tool. We're going to zoom in onto a couple of blemishes on the face and we'll select the appropriate brush size there for the tool and conveniently it will cover up those blemishes. And come down here and do these ones as well. The next trick I want to show you is to make her eyes a little bit whiter. So again, I've duplicated the layer. I'm going to change the layer mode to soft light. Now you can see it's darkened the whole thing a little bit, which we don't quite want. So we're going to add a layer mask in there with the hide all setting. And then we're going to paint in the bits that we want. So we're going to choose a small soft brush and zoom in on those eyes make them brighter again. And we'll do the same for the other eye. So you can see the goal here is just to increase the brightness of her eyes slightly. So the next effect I'll be doing here is to add a surface blur to the whole picture. And this will have the effect of softening it all very slightly. You can go overboard with it and end up turning the picture into the uh, basically a cartoon but we don't want to go that far so I'll create the um, surface blur here with those values apply that and bring the opacity down a little bit you can see there the hair is the th most obvious part that gets blurred Probably a little bit hard to see on YouTube the effect that I've gone for here, but it is worth it. Now the next retouch I'm going to do is basically change the color of her lips to make the dark parts a little bit darker and the bright parts a little bit brighter. Now I use the pen tool when I made my layers on the right there, which I'll show you in a minute. It's basically just drawing the lines around the edges of our lips and adding in the extra points there and dragging them to make the curves. So if you're comfortable using the pencil of course use that otherwise you could just use the lasso tool up the top there and free draw it. On my laptop here I don't have a tablet so pen tool it is for me. Alright, so once you've got your areas selected, paste them into new layers and use the layer multiply mode here for the first one to make it a bit darker and then use linear light for the next one to make it lighter. And You'll have to play with the opacities a lot here to get it just right. And as you can see there, it's darkened the lips a little bit but also kept the highlights there. 
And optionally you can also add in with a soft white brush. Draw some highlights there. Oops. So I guess depending on the type of brush and the hardness and the colour you use, you could add a bit more reflection into her lips, I guess, if that's the effect you're trying to achieve. So the last retouching effect I want to show you is with the curves adjustment layer and what this will be doing is just highlighting her brown hair a little bit giving it a very slight reddish tinge to it. So on the mask what I did is erase the parts we don't want and see the little icon there the bits we don't want are black and the bits that we will be taking the uh, curves layer effect on are the white bits. So I've erased the parts we don't want and that's what it looks like. We can adjust the curve histogram there a bit, bringing up the uh, the lighter channels a little bit, bringing the darker channels down slightly. So we end up with, a, as I said, slightly more reddish hue than brown. Well, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you next time. Take care.